Hi y'all, this is Mike from Cajun Cooking TV and one of our viewers um, wrote in and said he'd like to see us do a, a steak in a frying pan. Well, um, so we're doing it for him. Anytime you want something done, just give us a, a, a comment. We'll do it for you. And before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and put on that post notification bell so you know when we upload another awesome video. Tonight we're going to have a, just a quick video. We're making up some supper, and um, we're having some tenderloin steaks I picked up at the grocery store at Rouse's this morning, just right off the shelf there. Then they're just going to take a couple minutes to cook, but I'm going to cook them right here on the stove. They're going to taste just like they came out of a restaurant. Reason being, cast iron cooking. You can cook them in a frying pan. I've done that for years and years and and um, you know still a good steak but cast iron just puts it in a whole new um, whole new world. Now I've had these sitting out for about 30 minutes. You don't really want to cook them straight out the refrigerator although again I've done it all my life until I started learning about cooking. But it's best to have room temperature because they, you get an even more even cooking. So I got my cast iron slowly heating up. You don't want to put it on wide open hot right away. So I'm just going to get it to it. Really, really hot. Throw these in there. They probably should cook um, not more than three minutes on each side and we'll be done. Now, stay till the end. We're also going to make a um, mushroom topping to put on top of the steaks. Okay, y'all, I'm going to season these steaks. I season them just like a season all the meat that I cook and seafood. Salt. And we use this Himalayan pink salt. Main reason being it comes out deep from in a um, mountain somewhere, 200 million years old and doesn't have no pollution on it. I put plenty of salt and plenty of pepper. Reason being most of it's going to come off in a pan. And granulated garlic powder. Not garlic salt garlic powder, and that we like to granulate it. It's just much easier to deal with. Okay, so we got that and that, and some fresh ground pepper. I actually need a bigger one of these if my wife would get it for me. And we'll go. I know somebody. Okay, she knows somebody. Okay, so I'm going to put plenty of fresh ground black pepper. I'm going to pat it in. Now I'm going to do the other side also. Okay, y'all, I've seasoned um, the steaks on both sides, salt, pepper, and granulated garlic. And my um, skillet's about ready. Here's how you know when it's ready. If you go, oh, when you touch the top of it, it's ready. <clears throat> and typically I pour a little bit of oil in there and throw the meat in there. But I usually use a deeper skillet. But the deeper skillet needs re-seasoning. So I'm going to try something somebody told me, which is just putting your oil on the meat. Now, with this high heat, I use an avocado oil. Um, olive oil is not good for this. We use olive oil in most of our cooking, but this is extreme high heat cooking, and olive oil would just burn. So um, avocado oil handles a high heat. So I'm going to pour it on here. Pat it down a little bit and go in with it. And this is a very high thing. The high, high heat is the secret of making these things taste so good. Here we go. Uh, I don't know if it's hot enough. It should have just bah, gone haywire. But anyway, here we are. Now these are pretty thin. I don't, I don't know. They're about an inch, I guess. We're on just as high heat as we can go. And we're going to um, cook them three minutes and flip them. Let me put on a timer here. Barrel flies by your internal clock. And I use an external clock. Three minutes. Did you know Cajun Cooking TV has a cookbook called Cajun Cooking Made Easy? 
purchase today to enjoy our full recipes, instructions, links on how-to videos, and much, much more. Let's see what these things look like. Perfect. That's what it's supposed to look like, folks. Now, we like our meat not bloody. Um, you know, we like it any somewhere between um, medium rare and medium. Like it, I'm um, very pink, but not bloody. So, if you like yours more rare, two minutes each side might do. We're going three minutes, and we're going to see what happens because um, this is not a thickness of a steak that we typically do. We do typically do the real, real thick ones. And we'll do both sides. Then we'll do, I mean both big sides and we'll do all the edges all around which gives it extra cooking ends up taking oh you know more like um 10 minutes all together you know three four minutes on each side then a couple of minutes doing all the edges so our edges are not going to be done probably all right okay y'all it's been three minutes on this side let me see what happens oh man looking good looking good Actually, it didn't stick. But you know, I just, I just got to do a little bit on the sides. It just doesn't look good to me. Now I'm gonna lower the heat because it's gonna keep this heat for a long time. And I'm just gonna hold it like this and brown these sides. Cause it just ain't pretty having an unbrowned steak. Okay, so right then, I didn't put butter on these before, although, you know, you, you want butter on them, but the heat is too high for butter. But I'm getting ready, I've lowered the heat, I'm going to put a little butter on there and let it melt off, because I'm going to be using butter to make our mushrooms in a second, in the same pan. I've lowered my heat from high, from wide open high, to about halfway, whatever that might be. For the mushrooms. Now it takes a while for it to cool down. This cast iron, one of the redeeming qualities is that it holds its heat incredibly. So hopefully these things are done. We're going to eat them whatever they are. We'll show you. We're not going to cut them for a while because um, you, know, you need to let them rest for about five minutes. But what we're going to do now is Throw some more butter in there. Oh, let's see how much this is. Because we're going to make some mushroom topping to put on this. Okay, so that's about um, three-fourths of a stick of butter. I'm scraping up these um, pan drippings. Getting that incorporated into it. Okay, y'all, on the drain board, because we had washed them, in they go. Hear them sizzling? Oh, y'all, I forgot to put in my garlic. There they go. Some salt, some sea Oi, 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 I was about to forget. Some red wine. Any kind of wine good. Most people use white wine, but we got red wine. And some Worcestershire sauce, some black pepper. This stuff's going to be as fine as the steaks. So now we're just going to saute these mushrooms, turn the heat back up a little. And this will just be just a few minutes, a very few minutes. Not reduced as much as I would like because I put too much wine. But it's good to go. We're going to eat it anyway. We'll plate these steaks up, put some of this. Here y'all, we made a couple of tenderloin steaks in the pan. We have uh, made a mushroom topping, and now we're going to have supper. Please subscribe if you like these things, because we do this, do this every week. We put out one or two videos every single week of what we're cooking at home. This is just regular food that regular people have in their home, and 
we cook it up to restaurant quality in Chickamauga. You want to see me seasoning them? Okay, coming up on my time. It was uh, terrible. You have to do better next time. I didn't, I didn't find a single good bite in that entire amount. Uh, really? See? Thank you.